What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show here for episode 53 of our MLB The Show 23. Road to the show featuring Chance Bishop and the Philadelphia Phillies. And Chance is on the cusp. He is on the forefront of the 400 home run club. In Philadelphia history, only one player has reached 400 career home runs. That being Mike Schmidt. Yeah. Only three players have reached 300, being Ryan Howard, Mike Schmidt, Chance Bishop. Now, Chance, two home runs away from joining a club only held by Michael Jack Schmidt. You know, the greatest third baseman in MLB history. Now, here at the top of the fourth inning, there is one out in the inning. Bishop will uh, put down on the ground, fielded by the second baseman. But that gets under the glove there for a base knock to right field. And Chance has himself an at-bat hit. Now, at the top of the sixth here, next at-bat. Bishop deep to left. That one's back down the line and gone. Short porch and right. Bishop just hits home runs to anywhere here. You know, at Yankee Stadium. Doesn't matter if it is left field line, if it is right field line, if it is center field. Yankee Stadium is a hitter's ballpark. And Chance Bishop hits home runs here. So there you go, Chance Bishop. Big home runs there for the young fella. Now top of the eighth, Bishop down the line. Right field, upper deck, and he's done it. 400 on the career for Chance Bishop. The young first baseman does it again as he continues to stun everyone, to wow the experts, to put the past in the, in the past, really. No one has hit 400 home runs faster than Chance Bishop here. Bishop, not even 30 years old yet, has hit his 400th career home run. 53 episodes in the series. The Phillies get a loss here. Mick Abel, 7-6. Cabrera gets the save. Kyle Muller gets the win. But doesn't matter. 53 episodes in. And that's including the minor leagues. And Chance Bishop has himself 400 career home runs. Bishop averaged about 50 home runs a season. That'll do it. That's the main thing for him right there. Is the amount of home runs he averages per season. Now take on Reed Detmers here, start off the first inning, that one's back, left center field, that one though, that's corralled by the center fielder for uh, the final out here in the first inning. You hate to see that. Now top of the fourth, Bishop, that's going to be snagged, leaping play by the third baseman, you hate to see it. Nothing you can do though on that. Top of the seventh now, Bishop here, ground ball, fielded by the shortstop, backhand, throw to first, in time. As that's dug out by the first baseman. So there you go. Bishop not, not doing much here in this second game. Next at bat though in the ninth. Bishop. He hit 400. Now he's got 401. That one's deep into the night. And there you go. Chance Bishop. That's going to be his 32nd home run on the season. That's his third home run of the episode. Third home run of this Yankee series. Third home run in the last two games. So Bishop, he has found his power swing right now after struggling earlier in the season, falling to second place for home runs in the National League. Uh, the Yankees get the win. Cody Heward gets the save. Detmers the win. And Matt Manning the loss. You hate to see that. You really do. You hate to see when the Phillies just lose games they shouldn't lose. Debbie Garcia, he was in the All-Star game. He was a 2031 All-Star. 18 starts, 11 for a 266 ERA. It's funny. Debbie Garcia is doing pretty good right now for the Yankees, but he got DFA'd in the real life. So, yeah, it's uh, sometimes video games and, you know, real life don't always match out. You know, just like Debbie Garcia here. DFA'd by the Yankees, all star in 2031. Maybe the Yankees just didn't give him enough time to actually produce, which is why he had to get DFA'd. They just need to wait another, what is it, 2024? They just had to wait, you know, another seven years and he'll be good. Right? Seven years and he'll be good. Debbie Garcia out here in the sixth. That's, that's, not, that's not bad, at least to a chance Bishop single. 
Back-to-back -back hits off of Devi right now. The all-star starting pitcher. No, actually, not star pitcher. All-star relief pitcher, I guess. But Cody Hewer out for the save, and Bishop thinks otherwise. Blowing the save. Second deck in center field. Oh, baby. That is the 33rd over the season. Number 75 right there. He is absolutely jacked. 110 is that exit velo. 450 feet. That is a mammoth home run right there by Chance Bishop. Absolutely crushed into center field. Bishop, that's what you like to see out of the young fella right there. He just comes out of nowhere, ties the game up. 400 second home run of his career. The Phillies are pumped in this one. Now top of the 10th base is absolutely yoked and Bishop does it again. How are you doing, Bronx? Yeah, you heard of the Bronx Bombers. Bishop is the Bronx Bomber. There you go. That's his second home run in his many at-bats here in this one. 99 off the bat. Not, not the fastest hit home run. Yankees fans got to watch that one leave the park. They got to sit there, and they got to watch it leave in slow motion. Just to see that, there you go. 6-1 is the final score. Cody Hewer gets the loss. Yeah, you did. Cody Hewer blows the save, gets the loss. You hate to see it. Chris Mora, he's a starter for the Reds right now in this one. 18 starts, 5-5, five five, a 342 ERA, 97 innings, 106 hits, a 136 whip, 117 strikeouts to 26 walks. So a fairly respectable 4-1 to strikeout to walk, roughly, I, I want to say. Uh, top of the first, though, Bishop right to the right field. That's going to end the at-bat there. That's also going to end the first inning. Now top of the third, two on, one out. Bishop, this one's going to go to left field. That one's back, and that one's going to get down. One hop the wall right there. And Chance Bishop has himself an RBI double. There you go. Bishop getting the Phillies on the board right there with his 27th double of the season. So there you go. Look at that. Bench is absolutely pumped right there with the big fellow on, you know, on second base. Now Bishop, fifth inning. That's a double play. Double play right there. Not what you want to see. Toggle the other first base. So it's double play right there. Top of the eighth. 3-2 game. Bishop trying to get some insurance runs now. Can't get it. That's a ground out to the second baseman. Yeah, it's going to be up to the bullpen right now to hold this lead. Come on, Philadelphia. You can do it. 6-2. All right, the bench did it. The rest of the team got out there, scored some runs. That's what you like to see out of them. Now here you go. Look at that. Run around, sec uh, around third. Goes home. There you go, look at that big RBI single there. And Philadelphia, of course, wins this one easily. 7-2, right? 7-2 is that final score, I want to say. But a big victory nonetheless here for Philadelphia as they defeat the Reds here. And this one, one game we're going to play against the actual Reds. 7-2, the final score. So if you guys liked the episode, hit that like button, comment down below. His chances now on the hunt for 500 career home runs.